I got a hundred dollar check from my grandma, and my dad said I need to put it in the bank so it can grow over the years. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. We can put that check in a money market mutual fund. Then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. What's all gone? The money in your account. It didn't do too well. It's gone. What do you mean? I, I have a hundred dollars. Not anymore, you don't. Poof. Hey, guys. First of all, I really need to thank you. So your support in the last two days was just amazing. I can quickly show you here. Um, I have uploaded my recent Heartseeker guide, which was very well received by you. And 685 of you guys have subscribed to this channel. And now I have reached my 3K uh, subscribers threshold. So um, yeah, it's very impressive for me. I couldn't believe it that I will uh, reach it that fast. So again, thank you very much, guys. It really means a lot to me. Um, yeah, and now we can start with the video of today. So today I want to talk about masterworking and how much gold you can expect to pay or invest into masterworking in order to get your perfect um, most wanted items. So for example, on the Rogue, you have very crucial um, item or gear spots slots where you want to hit a certain affix because it will just increase your character power in a yeah, very important way. So for example, you have this ranks to Dark Shroud. It's very crucial to hit the Dark Shroud ranks because this will increase your survivability. Then you have the Heartseeker ranks on your pants. Of course, you also want to hit as many of those because each rank uh, will boost your damage by I think around six or seven percent. So getting this plus three Heartseeker ranks is uh, very juicy. If you want to push uh, the higher pits, let's say, and also something like here on the weapon, you have Caltrop's Duration. So you can uh, see that if I will not equip the sword here right now, then my Caltrops only deal up to 45% like additional damage bonus. Um, while if I equip the sword with my Caltrops Duration, which I critted also two times during the master working, then you can see in the tooltip here, my damage boost, my damage bonus goes up to 73%. So yeah, you have some uh, very interesting or important items slots where you just want to crit the specific affixes so in order to do that you will need to masterwork and masterwork costs gold and also resources but today we will focus on the gold aspect only because i think gold is the more limiting factor so for for example you can see right now I'm very broke, I have only 11 million golds because I have also traded uh, quite a bit in the last days. So yeah, gold is the limiting factor in my opinion and that's why I want to determine today how much gold does it really cost you in order to get this double or even triple crits on the specific um, affix that you really want to hit. So yeah, for that, for that reason I have also prepared another paint graphic here. So paint is the best friend of Diablo content creators nowadays. And yeah, here I just tried to yeah, kind of illustrate this master working process. And yeah, you can basically illustrate it like this. So we have, you have five different affixes on your gear. Um, and you can say, okay, each of these affixes is like a success or um, kind of miss. And the success in our case would be if we hit the same affix twice in a row so we first hit here's for example dark shroud ranks to dark shroud we hit it in the first place and then in the second phase also and the first step that we need to do in order to calculate the amount of attempts we need to um, identify how um yeah how high is the probability for this success to happen in this specific event so we just can say, okay, we have five different affixes. So the chance of hitting one specific affix is one fifth, so 20%. And because we want to hit the same affix uh, twice, we need to multiply this 20% by another 20%. Because after we um, hit the f our affix the first time, we also need to do it the second time, the same. So the probability stays the same. It's also five different affixes. So 20 multiplied by 20, 
equals 4%. So the probability is 4% that we hit the same uh, FX twice. And now we want to determine the amount of attempts and this is very easy. So you just divide 100% by 4%. So 100 by 4 and this equals to 25 attempts. So this is the average number of attempts that you can expect from this kind of experiment or this um, mathematical event. So if you want to masterwork your pants, you want two crits on Heartseeker ranks, then you will need 25 attempts on average. It can be less, it can be 15, it can be more, it can be 40, but on average it will be always 25. So yeah, this is basically how statistics uh, work. And now the gold cost. So um, here I realized I made a little a small mistake. So um, I just assumed, okay, we have 5 million gold costs. So this is the refund cost. If you go to the blacksmith and you want to uh, reset your masterwork, then you push this button here and then you will see in the game, okay, cost to reset 5 million. Um, so yeah, we have 5 million gold cost. One second. Um, and 25 attempts. So you can say, okay, 25 attempts multiplied by 5 million equals 125 million. But the mistake here was um, actually it's 24 attempts because the 25th uh, attempt will be the success already. So actually it's 5 million multiplied with 24. So this would be 120 million. But yeah, just a small, small mistake on a side note here. And yeah, 125 million is the gold cost of the gold of the uh, refund cost alone, which we will need to pay or to invest in order to um, get this success here. But we also have some additional costs, which can be illustrated here. So you also have the costs for each of the ranks of during master working. So the first master working rank costs you, I think, 100k. The second one, 150 or 200, then 300 and uh, 350. So the sum, the total of this cost equals 750k for ranks one to four. Um, so this means you need to multiply the 750k with 25 attempts. So you will, yeah, you will have this co costs 25 times um, in total. So this would equal, this is equal to 18.75 million. And then you also have the rank 5 to rank 8 gold costs. And here you, you have even higher gold costs. So in total, this should be around 2.4 million. If I did no mistakes here, maybe I did a small mistake. But um, yeah, it should be around 2.4 million. So here again, you need to multiply this gold costs with um, 25 attempts. But this time, we also need to multiply it by 0 0.2, which is equal to 20%. Uh, the reason for that is this rank 5 to 8 this will not happen all the time because you will miss very often so let's say you master work rank to rank 4 and what you will hit is you will hit the fourth fx here so you will hit something like maximum life or you will hit armor so after that the experiment is already um, a miss it's not a success because you need to hit uh, your dark shroud ranks in order to continue so what you will do is you will instantly reset and you will not continue to um, yeah, rank 8 so for that reason we need to multiply it by 0 0.2 because only 20% of the total amounts uh, of the total attempts only 20% of this 25 attempts you will need to upgrade your gear to rank 8 so yeah this is the logic here and this leads into additional 12 million gold costs so what we can do now is we can just take all of these numbers here. So we have 125 refund costs or actually 120. Um, and then we add this 18.75 million and we add this 12 million. And this equals in the total amount of 155 million gold. So 155 million gold is the gold cost that you can expect on average if you want to upgrade your gear, you must work your gear and to get at least two crits on the desired affix of your choice, for example, Heartseeker ranks or Dark Shot ranks on your chest plate or pants. So again, this can be less, this can be a higher value. It always, it's always random also, of course, but this is the st statistical 
value that you can expect. Um, and we can also go a step further. So now you might wonder, well, I want, I do not only want to double crit, I want to triple crit. I want to go really crazy on my endgame gear. I want the perfect character and everything triple critted uh, that I want. So after you hit the UFX the second time, you also want to hit it a third time. So again, the dark shot ranks or hard seeker ranks or whatever. So in order to triple crit, I also have already calculated this. What you need to do here is you just need to multiply it by additional 20% because the probability of hitting the third, like the same FX the third time is still 20%. And then you divide 100 by this new value here. And this equals 125 attempts. So instead of 25 attempts to double crit, you will need 125 attempts to triple crit a, sp a specific um, FX on your gear. So yeah, it escalates pretty fast here. And if you're wondering about the gold costs, I can also tell you this value here, and it should be something around 815 million. So you can, yeah, you can calculate with 815 million uh, in order to triple crit a specific affix on your gear. So yeah, you should have around 1 billion gold in your bank in order to start this master working uh, adventure, I'd say. Yeah, well, so you can see it's uh, in Diablo 4 and Season 4 it's possible for everyone who really wants to min-max their character, it's possible to go very deep into it. So you will need billions of gold. So remember, this is only one item for only one piece of gear so if you really want to master work all of your items and get perfect endgame gear you will need to invest billions of gold you can just farm for three months straight so if this is what you want to do then you can go for it but otherwise i think the double crit is already kind of decent so i will be very happy if i have a double crit on each of my items that i um yeah want to hit and i think 155 million gold it's not cheap but it's something you can um, achieve at some point especially if you trade a lot so trading is the best uh, thing you can do in order to get some gold so otherwise it's uh, not too easy to get gold in this game but with trading it's possible and yeah i think 155 million is a realistic number and yeah now you have this information so now you can make better decisions maybe you have 200 million gold and now you can decide will you go for this um, nice heart seeker pants for more damage so two ranks of Heartseeker should give you around 12 or 13 percent damage boost um, in, in the Heartseeker build, or you just go uh, on some trading website or in the globe in the chat global trading chat and buy some items with this gold, so you can make some uh, decisions. Okay, so I hope this uh, helped you, gave you some nice information. And as always, leave me a like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy my content and want to see future content on this channel. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next videos, guys, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.